last month's reading on a blog I found really overwhelming because I read so many blogs I didn't even know where to start and it came really late but I'm filming this and it's still July we've got like two le days left of July so I thought I'm just going to start it and crack on with it um, I didn't read as many books as I did the last like, month but I did still read like a lot of books I read 13 I don't know I think I'm on my 14th book so, I started this year reading like four books a month, and now I get crazy. It's like I'm on crack, but I'm not, so. So yes, before we get started, please remember to subscribe to my channel. I feel like I've got more consistent with uploads. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm motivated at the moment, so subscribe whilst I'm motivated. Um, it keeps me motivated. Add me on in like on Goodreads. Add me on Goodreads. The link is down below. And follow me on Instagram. My personal Instagram and also my bookstagram is linked in the description. I have. I feel like I'm a little bit more prepared than last month as well because I have some screenshots of my reviews on Goodreads on this little tablet. So I can if I'm looking down, it's because I'm like having a look at my reviews but yeah let's just jump in to the video so the first book that i read in july was circe circe It's like 300, just over 300 pages. It usually would take me like two, maybe two days, two, three days at most to get through a book this size. And it literally took me an entire week, like an entire week to read this. Um, I think I was like in a book hangover because of before I read this, I read like, I read a haunting at a line, which is obviously like really fast paced, really action packed, a dark romance, which I loved. So I don't know if I was in like the frame of mind to pick this up um so yeah it took me absolutely ages to get through um like i said i, I, I enjoyed it though i ended up giving it a 3.5 which i did say in my review like this this is probably a higher like a book that deserves a higher rating like literature wise but for me personally like my enjoyment of it it was a 3.5 and I think that's just because it took me so long to get through um saying that I did find myself like crying in 
just like a fun novella that is just like a scene in it which involves toes and I can't do that, that is not for me at all. So, <laughs> stars were docked, stars were docked for the toe situation. If you're into that, you know, you crack on with it, have fun. I'm just personally not into that. I did put in it, so this has an age gap in and it is with an older woman. I don't think personally I'm into like an age gap with a female is older. That's just my personal preference. I don't mind an age gap with a male is older, I shall see. Fun. If you liked vicious, you'll like this. It'll take you like a couple of hours to read, so you can't really go wrong. It was, it was a good time. And yeah, it is zero point five. Sorry, not one point five. So yeah, I read that on my Kindle. And by the way, I've been reading loads of my Kindle. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Like literally obsessed with it. Why did it take me so long to? buy one. I do not know. Okay, and then next I read Divine Arrivals by Rebecca Ross. This is the fairy loop edition. You'll see it, it's like a fairy from the June, no from the May box, this is the May box fairy loop edition. is definitely marketed as like an enemies to lovers where I would say it's more like a rivals to lovers because they're not particularly enemies um, but they are rivals to lovers so I gave this four stars I thought it was like so cute so cute it gave me like such cozy vibes all I wanted to do was like wrap up in a blanket drink a cup of tea and read this book
she's like 19, he's like 38 or something, he's not like, he's like 70, he's still like pretty young. Again, what can you expect from, from, from Penelope Douglas is a lot of good smell. Penelope Douglas is the queen of smell and spice, so I gave this a 3.5, so it was like a fun time. Um, the plot was fine, the spice was good, the characters were good, I just find it as enticing as I thought it was gonna, as I was gonna, I found Pike like attractive but I wasn't like, like drooling over him. Um, I do think that maybe it was just a little bit too long. Um, if it was like a hundred page short, a page short, I would have probably enjoyed it a little bit more. But, it was just, yeah, it was just a little, a little bit too long, but I still had like a really good time reading it. I think it needed like a little bit more attention, but in a shorter time frame, like if things had popped off a little bit sooner, I probably would have enjoyed it that little bit more as well. But still.
about this is that it's very like I feel like everything that happened could have been done like in a shorter space of time <laughs> but I, I feel like I'm saying that about a lot of these books like oh if it was a little bit shorter if it was a little bit shorter um, but that is just my opinion so there is like a bit of action some, some good action like some good action there is I like it when it gets kind of like a little bit darker it reminds me of like the darkness in like Harry Potter Deathly Hallows it goes down that kind of like path kind of that's how I would like correlate the vibe of it um, I'm not sure if I will pick up the second So usually when I really enjoy a book, like a series, I like read some books in between so I don't finish it like, like really quickly, um, but I couldn't, like I needed to know what happened so I read The Ashes and the Stargirls King which is like the second in this series. I gave this one a 4.5 again, I think it was a tiny little bit too long, there was like an entire, entire event that happened which then happened again, like a similar thing happened again later, which I didn't think was needed, but apart from that, like, I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. It started off so good, like rain stepped up a level and I became infatuated with that man. I want to be a vampire, I want him to turn me in to a vampire, like I would not say no at all. I said that I liked, like the development of the characters 
in this we learn a lot about Rain's past which I really enjoy in my review I was like oh, I want a book about a character called Veil in it little did I know that there was a novella that followed him which we will talk about Say much without like kind of spoiling the first all I say is that the memento is kept up like the momentum is kept up the writing and like the descriptions is kept up I I'm just obsessed with the series like, like I said I'm ordering the physical copies down from my bookshelf um because I like them that much so yeah I'm definitely interested in reading more of Carissa Broadbent as well She's written a few other books, and I believe there's going to be more in this series that follows different characters, which I'm excited about. So, yeah, love this world, love these characters, I love the writing. I highly, 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 highly recommend. Then, I listened to another audiobook, I listened to Turbo Rockers, which is the second. Sinners of Saints series, so this one's set after Vicious. This follows like a team um, who is Vicious's friend and Rosie, who is Millie's sister, and it kind of follows the story. I gave this a 3.25, so I think like the plot was really good. Um, there was like things that happened in it that I didn't expect. If you like, so Rosie, the female, is like. She's like ill, she has like chronic health issues. So it explores that a lot. Dean gives me Damon Torrance vibes from the Devil Night series, which I love. Damon Torrance is my favourite character in this series, and this gives me the Dean definitely gave me like his sort of vibes, which I really, really liked. I think that the narrator for Rosie just like annoyed me a little bit um i just think like her voice was quite windy <laughs> so that took some of the enjoyment away from it but it was still like again a fun smutty time there was nothing to do with toes in this one which was good um but there was still a lot of you know hot and heavy situations going on I was like shocked that they were in like a teenage book because they were like 
graphic, like really graphic, which I really enjoyed because I'm psychotic. But um, that was like probably like one of the best things about this book is like the descriptions of like the horror and the gore were really really good. Um, it was just like some of the the dialogue I just couldn't, and maybe it's because I'm literally a grandma, but it was. It was sometimes a little bit like of a struggle for me. But I do think, like, if you're like not a young teenager, but like in the teens or, you know, 16 plus, 15 plus, this would probably, like, you'd probably like be, you'd enjoy it. So, and it's so short, like, if you're into it, if you just want it, like a short, female being called Wendy, like I'm sorry if you're called Wendy out there, I don't mean to insult you, but like that took a lot to go on board with, like it was just, <laughs> it was just, who wants a main like female protagonist called Wendy, not me, but like the villain situation with James or Hook, um, I love that and toxic but he was hot he was hot I would put him up there with like my favourite Molly Gray which is an understatement men in books because he did things to me I very much enjoyed his caricature I enjoyed the like mafia-ish like situation i enjoyed the smoke which i thought was really really good i enjoyed like the dark like the darkness the violence with james hooking it or james Murray, he is like a businessman and wendy is the daughter of another businessman and there's lots of twists and turns and whatnot um, the series which is kind of based around other popular stories like i think there's like a one based on like aladdin um what i would say is that i do think the ending was a little bit rushed like i actually genuinely thought there was going to be another book following these characters um but it all wrapped up quite quickly um but even so like no complaints from me i loved it another book that i'm going to be getting the physical copy of for off for sure like 100% we'll be getting the physical copy of that book loved recommend can't myself people on the reviews like actually hated it or gave it like two three stars and I was like 
this is the second and last Indica and Mouse duet. I gave my wrap up of Haunting Adeline in last month's video, which I also which I gave five stars. I also gave this five stars because I have issues. I literally said this book is like unhinged, but thankfully, so am I, and I got pulled it up. It's all 650 pages of it. I got pulled it up. If you didn't know, like haunting, haunting Adeline um, is a like a stalker, dark, very dark romance. Um, read the trigger warnings. This follows on from the like cliffhanger that is left in haunting Adeline, and this is a lot. the video will be taken down but just change with trigger warnings um there's a lot that happens around like you know trafficking of people there's lots of unarriving and unarriving in not very nice ways and a lot of, of smut good smut that last like but also 
also like has got the relations to them so I would read this afterwards I would read this after you've read both of the other books but again this was like 170 pages I read it in a few hours and I bloody loved it it was so good like I love that series I would recommend it I had a pretty good pretty good reading month if so if I'm currently reading a book if I finish it by the time July is out this is going to go into a second part 